I hold, hold you showing you crotch. crotch that's <laughs> why I put my leg up. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. This is our new um, new thing we're gonna do. Maybe once once a week. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna do this like once a week, and we are gonna have a uh, guest on there and stuff like that. If you're subscribed here already, then you know Dylan. And then, of course, I'm of course. Sean, and uh, this is our podcast. Hey, Sean. <laughs> we call it Podcast oh, on the Love Seat. <laughs> love Seat? Love Seat. Yeah, this is a Love Seat, isn't it? Podcast. Oh. We could call it Podcast no. on a Sofa. Oh, my mom's been loving on this thing. Damn, Nate. It was pretty much. It's kind of about to be like between two between. ferns. Oh, yes. yes, I've been watching that. Watch that watch that did you? We did too. <laughs> me and me and Taylor watched it. Though. First part. First part. Of it. I know. Uh, uh, I got into Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was yeah. That was uh, that was hilarious. I loved it. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so. Shut up. <laughs> So, so we did the gambler. Did it was gambler. Awesome. awesome. Uh, we talked about it, and uh, I talked about it in another video. And then we kind of touched the subject when me and Dylan did the uh, damage assessment, sort of. I guess sort of the damage assessment. Really wasn't really a lot of damage. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of damage at all. It was a uh, yeah. There was a very fun. Oh, we did. Uh, that's right. Dylan opened the hood, and we did realize that our homemade uh, strut tower brace had snapped the one of the nuts off. It's one of the top, one of the top of the studs. Oh, okay. oh, so it was still on. The yeah. other piece was gone. Okay. Because it didn't put, so didn't put wash it to like, to like when both the bolts and the nut was uh, hanging halfway off. So when it was flexed, flexed it, have, it. Yeah. it wasn't pushed all the way down. It could like move the break the stud. Okay, I see. When they studded, it wasn't bound. Yeah, and the studs were easy to put in and all that. So I guess we lucked up right there. Hey. All right, so we had to make some adjustments with the mic. We're still new to this, and that's why we're uh, uh, doing all this stuff. Doing stuff. But yeah. It's always fun. The Gambler 500 was fun, and we are going to try and shoot for the next one. You're having a baby in March. So, so that'll be the Tennessee Gambler. Yeah. That'll be a bunch more. It just depends on how the baby comes and stuff. And, yeah. And the family comes first, so... <laughs> And we're also going to do some stuff on our own, I believe. We're going to do some trails and stuff. I think that's what we had talked about. We are, we're we we're in the process of building the track at his house. Um, but we're, we was trying to wait till He wanted to wait till winter. And uh, so everything's dead. And it'd be kind of easier to do. Yeah. What's snakes? Scorpions? Spiders? I didn't even know. Poison oak. I didn't even know scorpions was a real thing here in Alabama until they showed me. Because they was like, yeah. oh, a scorpion. I was like, you're freaking lying. There's yeah. no way. <laughs> Live in the woods, you got scorpions. <laughs> yeah, I got them in my block shop. And that's where the Subaru is currently sitting right now. He put it in the block shop. It's right there with the, the go -kart. ABO go-kart. Yeah. That thing's had a rough life. Yeah, the go-kart ha has had a rough life. It's about time life. to retire it. No. <laughs> oh, man, a couple more videos, it's going to be retired. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna have to cut the back half off of it and make one of them front wheel slider cars. <laughs> so we could do it. We, uh, yeah, we could. The, the back's kind of toast now. The thing uh, we wanted to do really was uh, we wanted to keep the car, you know, in okay condition until we got another car. Been but an awesome stony run. What Just the gambling or the. Off. Well, see, that's what I wanted to do. I sort of, I wanted to, in the I wanted to get with you, and I wanted inside. to, yeah, I wanted to cut, I wanted to cut like. Then we could just weld some metal to the back to drag. Yeah, or we could. Uh, I thought about getting an Auto City and buying the the whole rear end. Oh, fixing it. Yeah, fixing the rear end and then putting big tires, lift it, and do uh, do like a roll cage and stuff on it. Cause you're fixing to get your welder. On the avio. Yeah, we cut the roof to where the windshield's still there. And then we weld a roll bar. I like cutting the car in half. That sounds like a more interesting video. Cutting the car in half? Yeah, you ain't seen people do that? Just like cut the well, car. Yeah, I've seen them people right do that. Right down the middle, right behind the seat. And then like move the fuel tank up there and run the fuel tank from somewhere else. <laughs> and just freaking drag the background, just drive the front. 
Took we the back, have, then messed up. We have a pretty good amount of ideas we want to do with it, but like my the idea is my, cage it. My idea is to cutting sounds more easy. Cutting the roof off, <laughs> and then fixing the rear end, lifting it, build a roll cage on it, and then uh, going from there, like build like a stony vehicle out of it. I think that would be fun. Yeah. But now that we've had the experience in the Subaru, I mean, it might just be like, this thing sucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Because we are just using this like sort of so go car. Low. That's the only downside. Plus, we move the radiator and everything, like we talked about. And that motor smokes about every time we drive it now. I oh, know. That's my fault. <laughs> That was a good motor at what time. <laughs> it's only been a trick or two. Yeah, it's only had uh, it's only got sixty something thousand miles on it or something like that. I think I can't remember exactly. Give or take sixty something thousand miles. We've been driving it a pretty good bit, but we really we don't get out of the yard, so it's not like we're running the miles up on it. We're just giving it hell. Yeah. But it's so fun. Like you get out there, and it's so relaxing just to get out there and, and tear it up. Like, it's so stress relieving. It's hard to explain, but it's like super stress relieving. Just jump in that thing Adrenaline. and just floor it and go from like one end of the yard to the other. It's just like soothing. It's the adrenaline. <laughs> the danger. <laughs> At one time, it was coming down and I hit that bump. And this is why we stopped jumping it in that direction. I hit a bump and when it jumped, it landed and it was like, like trying to flip. And I was like, turned all the way this way and I was like oh god this is going to be bad but it didn't flip it just smooth like slid on out and kept going I thought it was going it would been cooler if it flipped <laughs> I didn't have a seatbelt on it would cool on. for you but yeah. you know, it made a good video <laughs> I didn't have a seatbelt on or nothing don't do this at home <laughs> still damage you cut it in half we could do it we could do it we could cut it in half it's not like it's our only car now our only go kart now it ain't nothing but scrap anyways I know. we still have fun with it Rear axles toast. We might have to pull it back out. I thought tie one end of the tree and like tie another end of the truck. And Bam! Just pull the tires back straight. Drive it more. I don't know. I think if we keep driving it the way we're driving it, the motor ain't gonna last much longer. No, it's, it really ain't. But if we can find some razor tires and throw on the front, cut it in half, fuel sell it, <laughs> drive around just half car. <laughs> Can't tell me that would be awesome. It would be awesome. Some big event at Stony, and we just freaking <laughs> slide up through there, half a car, cruising around. <laughs> what would we put underneath it? Just let it drag. They just weld some metal on the back, but it'll eventually off road. It wouldn't really drag it too bad. Just on the road is where it would drag. That'd be a pretty wild thing to do. Yeah. Plus, you see all those videos like people in Russia doing it. Yeah, stuff like that. Or we can shorten it. We can cut it and oh no I've seen make horror a short, story yeah I've seen horror stories of that that would be cool that would be fun well, it, it would be together real it short would, and it tiny would, <laughs> it would be so wild for sure some good ideas <laughs> definitely need to improve on the Subi a little bit for the next game we'll do a little work to it clean it out clean it up you think you're going to be at the March game though? You don't think so? Not the Tennessee one. They want us to come up there. Yeah, I know, but I, don't th I think it's going to be too close. But she's been measuring ahead for 22 weeks. And she went today, and she's measuring 28. So we're kind of getting ahead. But we'll see how it turns out. The baby comes first. That's true. Because it's going to be an adjustment when it comes two girls and a baby <laughs> so I don't think she want me to leave <laughs> in the first month or so, so. yeah 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 <laughs> I get that <laughs> but yeah we, we do have a lot of uh, a lot of plans and uh this is gonna I do think the motorcycle I did like doing a game on a motorcycle would be fun. that would be fun I do want to do the Grom that way you could do like a mini poker run on the Grom like, for the YouTube channel or for in general I think we should, because that's basically all the game is, like a poker run. Yeah. Well, this cars. this part of it is, anyway. Yeah. The way 
they had put it on, or the way they portrayed it up there, they, you know, it was just like yeah. a breakaway of the actual gambler. Yeah. Which I thought. They got the which Hoopty is, Cross, too. Yeah. Hoopty Cross is coming up. So we we fun to do a Hoopty Cross at Stony. We see a lot of people in that. Yeah. We got a we got a lot of events coming up, and we're going to try and participate in as many as we can and film as many as we can, and we also want to come up with our not our not come up with our own event but put on an event it doesn't matter i don't guess it would matter if it was you know like a recent event or something like that but we just want not we're not we don't want to take credit from the event but we do want to put on an event for my youtube channel and get everybody met up like he said the groms the motorcycle gambler i think that would be like really fun on the groms too yeah It'd be cool if you could do like old cruiser bikes yes like some old cruisers yes with some nobbies and do some like trail riding <laughs> be like some like cut up really, bobbers or something be really tough on a heavy old cruiser bike but it would be fun oh yeah a 250 you have to do it pretty something. safe though like a rebel yeah I mean yeah. definitely safe but yeah. I think we should do that though different. like we should do a uh, the hoopty cross for sure really, that'd be really easy to do yeah cause you wouldn't have to have like an off road built gambler car it could be just a normal old car. As long as the track's kind of dry. Like that track at Stony that was riding around. Yeah. If it was just dry, you could drive any car on it. Jump it. Go through all that stuff. Yeah, I felt like I was... The ruts little... would be... We'd probably have to get them to grade the ruts out. I mean, that would be a big deal. Yeah. I felt like I was launching us. my bike off those jumps. Oh, it felt big. But when... I jumped mine a couple times, but I didn't want to send it too hard. But I was like flat out trying to send it and then like you look at the video and it was just like it's it's like dude life of experience I didn't want to air mine out too hard (laughs) I felt like an MX racer the front shocks is going to be slamming so (laughs) I feel like I'd come off the jump I felt like an MX racer just like fucking and I'd land and I was like god that felt good and then Austin had the video and I went over and looked at the video and it was like I was like, bump. really? <laughs> you get higher than that off the speed bump. <laughs> <laughs> but those were long jumps, yeah, too. That, especially that big one. It was, you was just launching, and you was just like, you were floating for a minute, but you was like barely off the ground. Yeah. So I guess that's why it seemed pretty big. Cause I was Did you floating. see that OG body kit that tag in there? No. Then I got an OG body kit that looks like a dirt bike. Oh, yeah, I did see it. Yeah. I did. Had the spoky wheels on yeah. it. Yeah. That's, that's cool. cool. I like that. I like the spoke wheels too. We may, uh, we may kind of, since we're here talking about it, this is why I like doing stuff like this. Since we're talking about it, we may uh, speed up the process on the whole bike gambler. We're trying to get everybody, might or try and get everybody together and see if we can do that. Maybe it gets a little bit warmer. Warms back up. It's supposed to be cold next week. It's supposed to be like in the 20s. Yeah, I heard it's like supposed Tuesday. to snow on Tuesday. Snows. Good brews coming out. Oh, fuck. How am I gonna get I'll to come your get house? You. Okay, I was gonna say, <laughs> so you're gonna come get me. Yeah, I might have to bring the snow chains, but I got man, I got the cameras the here, so if he can get me, we'll film it because it is supposed to snow Tuesday, which is it's gonna be some cyclones going down. It's gonna be awesome. I don't know. You think it'd do it in the snow? Oh yeah, if it's slick enough, it'd spark spin around. I guess I it can, just because it was so slick at Stony, but then again, the the, the tires mud. are so meaty. Yeah. I was trying to get it to cycle them. Just because of RPMs, you couldn't get them high enough in the yeah. mud. Yeah, I mean, I was, so heavy. I was dumping it. Yeah. I was like, what And it was just, it was doing this. Yeah. It was I mean, just like sliding. so slick, the whole car could move across it. Mm-hmm. Just in the mud, it's like trying to get traction, too. It's moving you. Yeah, I think. I, I swear, I'd give it my own trying it, but I couldn't get it to do nothing. Got the Evo too. I guess the Evo don't make me the Evo. <laughs> Jonathan's probably watching this right now. And he's like, <laughs> "I'm gonna kill you guys." He told me to get the Evo out and drive it, son. <laughs> since it's been sitting there, let's we'll get it out and drive it with sock. Yeah. <laughs> make a cool video. We're, we're just playing, Jonathan. We're not really gonna do it. Got the Land Cruiser getting active. Put in. Man, we have old fleet out there. <laughs> This is brought to you by yeah. Coleman Artery Builders. Builders. <laughs> you may have uh, a big insurance claim coming up. <laughs> right off on your taxes. <laughs> now we uh, take care of them. Um, 
as you know, you see Coleman Auto Rebuilders. I explained it in, at the end of the Gambler video. Um, Jonathan did sponsor the video for the Gambler. And we're hoping to work with him more in the future. We think we've got a pretty good chance. I right. think. I, I think. I Definitely think Definitely so. more gamblers. Yeah, for sure. But uh, I don't know if he's working on getting a fleet like me and Dylan have a car. That's what it seems like. We'll I, see. We'll see, yeah. So they could build another one pretty cheap. Yeah, reasonable. for sure. But uh, there's just there's so much to put into it right now. So, But we do have, like I said, a bunch of events to do. And we're going to try to make it to all of them. And then we also have our videos of the vlogs are just going to take a turn. And they're going to be really good. So I hope you all are subscribed. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel now. Because it... And, because it's about to get pretty wild, I hope, with the vlogs. So we still got our individual videos coming out, which is like how we did the potato gun, how we did the go-kart, how we did the gambler. It was just individual videos of like one subject. But now my vlogs are going to change. My vlogs are going to be um, vlogs. Like I keep calling those videos vlogs because I felt like they were, but they're pretty much individual videos. Vlogs? Vlogs. Vlogs. <laughs> but the vlogs are fisting to change. They're fisting to get awesome. And then, like I said, individual videos are going to be individual videos, which is would be like the go kart and the gambler and the stuff that we do. And then we're going to do these. We're going to try and do these once a week. And uh, we're going to try and have more guests on and stuff like that. And it's going to be. I'm going to have two cameras. I would have my other camera set up today and it would be facing, but I don't have enough lighting. What? That's right. Camera. Oh yeah, I see it. You just lazy. <laughs> I gotta put my SD card in it. <laughs> what about up all night? I haven't even watched uh, anything more than the first installment. <laughs> up all night, we tried to do something fun with uh, up all night, and I wouldn't say that it didn't work because it was a funny video of us trying to be trying to start the late night talk show but we really don't know how to do it and uh it's like we was trying time. to yeah it was time consuming and we were trying to portray something in a way that we was trying to act yeah we was trying to act good actors. and like with the podcast here we kind of be ourselves and talk and do stuff like that but with the up all night we was trying to act and trying to be somebody we wasn't so it was really hard to put content into that then I tried to do like a stand-up thing with the green screen where I was just sitting here talking and I talked about the chaos I fight and I was just super awkward about it. I don't know why. I think it was because I was filming by myself. You? Awkward? <laughs> 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 but yeah, I think that's why I couldn't pull it off, I guess. Like a, you know, like an individual talk thing. Because at first we was like, let's put commercials in it. Crispy's going to do the commercials. Josh is going to be the intern that's like always dropping stuff and spilling stuff and then you were going to be the weatherman and I was going to be the host and we was going to fire you and put my it was it was going to be really fun we had really good ideas for it but we couldn't put them on like we could put it on paper but we couldn't bring it to the screen it was just kind of we're going to keep trying obviously because they're really fun to do but just time it's just time because we work a lot yeah we both work full time jobs and we're, <laughs> and we're full-time parents. <laughs> and we're full-time parents. And husbands and everything else. So. so that's why we said this is just going to be like once a week. And maybe eventually if this YouTube does take off and we are eventually able to make some sort of uh, revenue from it just to pay us back and we're able to do this full-time, we will do it full-time. But until then, uh, it's more or less just for fun. Of course, I mean, of course, it's just for fun, but like I said, we can't just quit our full-time jobs and be Not YouTubers. Yet. It'd be too hard. <laughs> the struggle would be real. <laughs> Plus, our wives, you know, they're stay-at-home moms, so <laughs> we're not making any money. <laughs> just, you know, just work. Yeah. Maybe in the future, we can get it going. Part-time YouTuber. Part-time YouTubers. Yeah. Now, being... Being a YouTuber, we can jump into that. 
uh, being a YouTuber is, uh, what would you say? I wouldn't think, I don't know, with you. I'm just here. Yeah, that's what, like, <laughs> that's what I was about to say. You're not really, uh, it's hard to say, like, the camera is never, like. Just me. Yeah. So, I guess so being, like, uh, eventually I do want to get to work. A co-tuber. Yeah. Eventually I do want to get to, uh, and don't get me wrong, the channel is, like, this channel is mine and his and Josh's because Josh and him have been with me since the beginning. They were, they were in my first set of videos and stuff like that. Um, so I know the channel says, that's what I wanted to talk about this. I know the channel says the Sean Wayne. Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I felt that the channel needed, when I started it was just like a fun thing. I was, it was supposed to be a second channel to my Moto Vlog channel. Because I was trying to be a full-time motor vlogger, which never actually took off. I got like 100 subscribers within a course of like five years or something like that. Motor vlog shine? Yep. You remember that? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so, and I wasn't really like, I didn't know how to be a YouTuber. I didn't know how to edit. So I would like go out, film a video, and I would just upload it. And it was... Rad. Upload. <laughs> Repeat. It's like raw footage. It was not, it was all unedited and just... I don't know. This is pretty wild. Island video game channels are. Oh, look. There's a pro. Let's record 20 minutes of his channel and throw a caption on oh, it. Oh, dude. I know. Let's make revenue. All those clip channels. If yeah. they don't get... Uh, you know those people. No are getting... content creation. Yeah, exactly. Nothing. They're let's, making let's money. Take their content. We'll put it on our page before they can put it out and then make money off of it. Mm-hmm. It's wild, it's isn't it? Stealing. It is. Pretty much. And they're making like all kinds of revenue off of it, and especially if you watched. I mean, of Just course, you back and yeah, it pops up and suggestions. That's wild. Yeah. But yeah, this until we get, uh, we can't do this like I said full time until we get, you know, some sort of revenue from it. And we're not asking for revenue. We're just saying like, as soon as we hit a thousand subscribers, we're going to be able to. Be able to get ad revenue yeah, and stuff so, like that. And that's all we really want. <laughs> We're, yeah. you know, <laughs> I don't think we'll ever get rich doing this. No, no, no. I don't think we'll ever. Happens. No obligations. <laughs> yeah, I ain't complaining. Yeah. <laughs> I could sit on this couch all day and talk to the camera. <laughs> We don't have to use my brain too much to do that. <laughs> we still gotta figure out the name of it. Podcast on us. Podcast on a podcast on a couch. It's the love seat, man. Podcast on a love seat. The love seat. The love seat of podcast. Yeah. The podcast. It's that red dot. Yeah. That's the the indicator that it says it's on. Oh, it's live. Yeah. That's how I always feel like Hot I need knock. to. That's how I always feel like I need to uh, portray, like, we're live. That's how I feel. That's how I would love to portray that we're just live. We are live to the camera. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, there's not, it's not bad being a YouTuber, I guess. Uh, I wouldn't let, uh, I, would, I know it's cliche as hell to say, uh, could you go watch my YouTube videos? Like, I think that's what everybody thinks when I say that or, like, give out my my thing, my flyer yeah. and cards and stuff. I feel like, oh, man, I ain't watching this new YouTube channel. But the reality is um, the mainstream media is coming to YouTube. Like, YouTube is going to be all there is. I mean, not all there is. Stream There's still going to be TV and stuff like that. But it's you know, going to the web streaming services. Exactly. So Netflix, Hulu. B- before long, you're going to come to YouTube for TV. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> before long, you'll be coming to YouTube for TV. And uh, we want to be there when it happens, I guess. Anything to say about that? I don't know. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like I said, we're going to do more of these um, podcasts, and we're going to have more people on it. And we're going to have different camera angles, too. I didn't think about that. We're going to have... Get a bigger love seat. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got that chair in there, because I thought about Brent, when somebody visits or something, I thought about putting that chair right there. And then they sit in that and have a camera facing them, and a camera facing me, and a camera facing you. And then we just edit through everything. It's going to be a hardest freak to edit this, but I don't think it'd be worth it. True. I'm going to get a brighter light, that's for sure. Why don't you get a big, huge light that we about broke? It's in the shop, because I was working on the shop. I didn't know you was going to drive your truck and I asked you to stop by my work and grab some cardboard. I got these, yeah, I got huge sheets of cardboard. It's like about, it's like huge, like the size of the wall. I was gonna see if I could strap it to I the top. I filled it up. I filled it up to pull that Jeep and the Honda. So I've just been driving it. I got <laughs> gas in it. Yeah. Some poor drive whatever's got gas in it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not soon. Maybe things will take off. I think I honestly do think uh, this is gonna take off and be good so like I said if you're not subscribed subscribe to the channel because there's a lot of good things coming yeah, we, we do have a lot of good ideas and the Bigfoot movie we still gotta come out come out with it that's a year in the making yeah really awesome. this, so look we I swear like I've said I've been saying we're coming out with this Bigfoot movie and everybody's like uh, where's the movie at where's the movie at so we really have been like cramming ideas into this movie it's gonna be awesome it's just time is the main thing. So when we do get time, we go and film videos. Like videos that we've been wanting to do. Like the Subaru video. Now that was kind of quick on us. We, we found out about the gambler. And then we, bu- we got the car. Our sponsor bought us a car. And then we had four days to put it together when the parts got there. So that was kind of like a... We wasn't prepared for that. But we did really good for not being prepared for that. Like... Yeah. We really did. I think so. Yeah. We got the car built and out there, and we had loads of fun. Honestly, I think we could have done it if, even if we didn't get the parts. Yeah. We could have done a stock car. Yeah. We could have done it in a stock car. Yeah. Without the tires and stuff. I'm or even sure just the lift. It yeah. Been fun. For sure. Could have done well. And all thanks to my driving skills. <laughs> Most of we got through all of it, but it was our first one, so yeah. we just want to go have fun, and we, film, and we weren't worried about winning. Yeah, that's not what it's about. That's what I was like. I would just, uh, I like the uh, the whole group thing, like riding around with the group and going through. Everybody was stopping, letting everybody come through the obstacles and stuff like that. I like that. Yeah, that was fun. I didn't. Uh, now, when somebody said it was a race. I was like, eh, I don't know about racing, but... More like an obstacle course. Yeah, I, bu- I think if uh, the checkpoints idea is fun, but uh, I do like the whole, the group, like riding to the as spots a as a group, and getting through the checkpoints, and then riding as a group somewhere else, and stuff like yeah. that. That was super fun. And Slightly Mangled, uh, they destroyed, did you see the video he uploaded? He destroyed his clutch. Like, he crunk it up, and I was like, he was pushing his clutch in and out, and he put his mic down in the in the engine bay against his transmission. And it was like, uh, when the car was on, it was like, and then he pushed the clutch in, and be like, like, it's so bad. Like throw out bearing. Yeah, it was bad. He's been making it through a bunch of crap with him, so. Yeah. That was like their eighth or ninth game in that car, so. Yeah, he's doing, uh, he's, he said in the video he's pulling the uh, the transmission out. He had the car up on the lift. But he's just to get started on it in that video. Get ready for next year's mm-hmm. cameras. I'm sure that's what they're doing. Because they're going to have three vehicles in their convoy. What he commented on mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's going to have three vehicles. There are going to be two Civics and that G20. They're in their convoy. And then if we came up there in March for the Tennessee... 
it would be if we had a second vehicle it would be me you and if Jonathan goes with us I'm sure he will yeah if he goes with us he needs him a chase vehicle that's what I was that's what I was like Get if Jonathan needs to go with us something. yes Jonathan needs to go even us. if he just got that way we have the cars when they loaded down yeah. we could not have to worry about like, hauling so much supplies like if we all had individual uh, vehicles like say if Jonathan wanted to do the gambler yeah. with us anyway, yeah. Miss out. yeah everybody would be a part of it everybody would be driving and stuff I think that would be a super good idea even if Jonathan was a chase vehicle on his jeep or something it would yeah. still be fun but yeah, if we all went, as I know Jonathan will go, and if your baby is not um, either super close or already born, yeah, I, I know right. it's going to be there pretty close to it. Early March. So. Yeah. And if you are able to go and I'm able to go, that would be fun. We'd have like a convoy up there, and then plus everybody from the Alabama Gambler will be there. But there wasn't anybody really local to us. It was there. There's code people from around, but nobody in Pullman besides us. You know those. Then once uh, they seen it, they're like, oh, "I want to do that." And they're like, <laughs> which was kind of sprung. It's kind of like a sprung event. <laughs> I don't think it was super advanced plan, so because we didn't find out about it till two weeks of. So. Yeah, I know. And then those guys from Aniston. Do you remember those guys? Well, I deliver in Aniston from like for my job. I deliver down there as a delivery driver, and I yeah. see them literally every day over by the airport. Cause he must work down there or something. And I see that little little uh, what was it? A geo or tracker? Yeah, it was. The it red was like, yes, I see that little red tracker every day, like coming from my. That's awesome. <laughs> I almost wave them, but they don't. I don't think they know who I am because. You know, obviously, I'm in the, in the Keystone truck, so. Yeah. Had to get you a big poster board with the gambler. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> I'm the YouTuber! Yeah. Did you see me? Is <laughs> that ready to wrap it up? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> if, uh. <laughs> we're gonna wrap this up, we're gonna be back next week. For this, and I'm not totally sure on the guests yet if we're gonna have guests next week or not because this is still kind of new to us. But if you like this, please leave a like, smash the like button if you please. And uh, if you're new here, please subscribe. Uh, it does help us out a lot, and we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers. That would be awesome. But thanks for joining us. I'm still not sure what we're gonna call this. <laughs> what we're gonna call it? podcast on the love seat or something I don't know sure but anyway subscribe if you're new here and smash the like button if you can and we will see you guys next week why'd you copy me <laughs> you, stole, you stole my idea but... <laughs> you can do it too you can share. no I'm not I'm done uh, bye uh, <laughs> ow uh, this is a good idea. Like, a very good idea.